high call series. So children, we have seen the lesson part of the first aeroplane, the grammar and the vocabulary part also. And now uh, we have uh, the skills and activity part of this lesson. This part is basically concentrating on improving our abilities in reading, writing, listening and speaking in English language. Okay, because English is a language and uh, language has to be spoken. Uh, we have to speak in English language, we have to write in English language, we have to listen and understand something in English language when somebody is speaking in English and uh, we have to read and understand uh, yeah, things in English language. Okay. <clears throat> so this part of the text is actually based on improving these, these skills. So here we start with the reading activity. You will uh, read this first, after that I will read it and then we will have some time to read it. Okay, so shall we listen to this? Read the following passage. India has many airports. Therefore, traveling has become easy for people. Aeroplanes have always been the most convenient mode of transport because they save a lot of time when compared to other means of transport. There are large number of airports that connect Indian cities with international cities. They are called international airports. Some international airports are Amritsar International Airport and Indira Gandhi International Airport. The domestic airports in India connect the major parts of the country. Some domestic airports are at Patna, Goa, Nagpur and so on. There are a total of 449 airports in India of various kinds. Flights of many airline companies carry passengers from one place to the other. Some of them are Indian Airlines, Jet Airways, British Airways and Fly Emirates. So now I will read this passage once and then I will give you time to read it by yourselves. Okay. Yeah. So listen carefully. India has many airports. Therefore, Traveling has become easy for people. Aeroplanes have always been the most convenient mode of transport because they save a lot of time when compared to other means of transport. They are, there are a large number of airports that connect Indian cities with international cities. They are called international airports. Some international airports are Amritsar International Airport and Indira Gandhi International Airport. The domestic airports in India connect the major parts of the country. Some domestic airports are at Patna, Goa, Nagpur and so on. There are a total of 449 airports in India of various kinds. Flights of many airline companies carry passengers from one place to the other. Some of them are Indian Airlines, Jet Airways, British Airways and Fly Emirates. Okay, so this passage is all about uh, uh, airports. So India has a good number of airports. Altogether there are uh, 449 airports in India. Some of these airports connect Indian cities with the international cities, means the cities of other countries like the Indira Gandhi International Airport in Delhi or uh, Amritsar International Airport in Punjab. Some airports are connected within the city, like within India, like the different cities in India. Uh, example, Patna, Goa, Nagpur. Okay, there won't be any international flights coming over there, but they connect uh, in between the cities within India. There are a large number of companies also organizing flight services. 
airline companies like the Indian Airlines are there, Jet Airways are there, British Airways are there, Fly Emirates are there. People mostly prefer air transportation because it's faster than the other modes of transportation, right? So this is what is there in this passage. Now, uh, I will leave the screen for two minutes so that uh, you can read and understand this passage once again, okay? Okay, I will read it. Fine. Now we have got some questions from this passage which we need to answer. Okay, based on what we have understood from reading this passage, we need to answer these questions. Okay, yes. So, shall we check the questions one by one? Why do people like to travel by airplanes? Why do people like to travel by airplanes? People like to travel by aer aeroplanes because they save a lot of time. Yeah, when we read the passage, we have seen it, no? It's the fastest mode of transportation. That is why most of the people prefer air transportation than the other modes of transportation, isn't it? Yes. So people prefer airplane because they save a lot of time. Right? Now the second question. Name one international airport in India. Name one international airport in India. What is the answer? Amritsar International Airport is an international airport. Indira Gandhi International Airport in Delhi is also an international airport. Okay. Or you can uh, write the names of any international airport near your place. No problem in that. Now we'll go to the third question. What is the total number of airports in India? How many airports are there in total in India? How many airports are there in total in India? How many are there? We have seen a figure in this passage, you know. How many are there? There are a total of 449 airports in India. How many are there? There are a total of 449. 49 airports in India. Now we will check the next question. Name any two airline companies that operate airplanes in India. So we have seen the names of some of the companies who operate airplane services in India. No? Yeah, we have seen that when we read the passage. Now, can you name one of them? Indian Airlines Jet Airways. Okay. So, two airline companies that operate from India are Indian Airlines and 
Jet Airways. Okay. Now into the next question. Have you ever traveled by an aeroplane? If yes, how did you feel while flying? If not, would you like to travel by a plane? So have you ever traveled by a plane? Your experience. If you have traveled earlier, now you need to tell what, how was it? How was your experience while we are traveling in the plane? Okay. If you have not yet traveled by plane, you need to tell would you like to travel by plane or not? Okay. So let's check the answers. Yes. I was excited by traveling by aeroplane. No, but I would like to travel by a plane. So if you have already traveled by an aeroplane, you can say, yeah, I was excited. I was excited by the journey. Okay. If you have not yet to travel by a plane, you can say, I would like to travel by a plane. Okay. So that is the answer for the fifth question. And now we'll move on to the next one. Let's practice. Follow your teacher while he or she is saying and pronouncing the following words. Yeah. So now we have E and A. So this is the symbol for the sound E. Okay. We usually call it like a long E. Right. It's a long E and this is a A. What is this? The sound A. Okay, so F E E D feed. S E E N seen. D E E P deep. F E E T feet. S E E D seed. Okay, so I'll read them once again. F E E D feed. S E E N seen. D E E P deep, F E E T feet, S E E D seed. And what about the other category? There is another set of words given there. Na? Yeah, we will pronounce that also. Then we will get a clarity regarding which is what sound. Okay. See, L E D led. L E D led. What is the word pronounced as a led? P E T pet. P E T pet. F E D fed. F E D fed. S H E D shed. S H E D shed. R E D red. Okay, so L E D led, P E T pet, F E D fed, S H E D shed, R E D red. Right? So now I will read the words one by one, and you have to repeat it after me right f e e d feed s e e n seen d e e p deep F E E T feet. S E E D seed. Second category, second table. L E D led. P E T pet. F E D 
fed s h e d shed r e d red <clears throat> okay so now we will compare both the sounds like uh, feed led seen pet deep fed feet shed seed red right so now i'll keep the screen the same for another minute you can uh, practice it okay Right children, so now we will move on to the next one. Let us converse. So here we will come across a conversation in between two people, right? So you will listen to that first and after that uh, I will give you the wordings of this conversation so that you can uh, practice it with your friends, okay? So once we complete the listening part, I will give you the Conversation wordings to practice, okay? Read the following conversation and enact it out with your partner in the class. Akash Indra It is very foggy today. Yes, it is. Many flights have been cancelled today. Really? My father was supposed to go to Chennai in the morning, but he came back from the airport. Oh, actually an aircraft cannot take off if there is too much fog. You are right, even our school bus moves very slowly on such a foggy day because the driver cannot see the road clearly. Yes, I agree with you. Okay. So have you listened to the conversation? Fine. Now I will give you the wordings of this particular conversation. Okay. So uh, once when the schools reopen, when you go to the school, we can uh, practice this well and uh, have the conversation with your friends. Right. Okay, so now we'll move on to the next one. It's the rhyme time. Okay, so now you will listen to a poem. Uh, after once when you listen it, I'll give you the wordings of this poem so that uh, you too can uh, sing and enjoy this. Okay, 
right so we'll listen to the poem first and then i'll give you the wordings okay read aloud the following poem and then recite it in groups the aircraft is up in the air the weather is clear and fair i look at the sky and sigh i wish i could fly the wings of the aircraft brightly shine everything seems to be just fine the pilot and the air hostess work with a smile within minutes we have covered many a mile fine so have you listened to that have you enjoyed it so so now i will give you the wordings right Fine children, did you enjoy the poem? Okay, so if it is so, then uh, shall we move on to the next question? State whether these sentences are true or false, right? So we need to read the lines and sentences given here. We need to check that with the, what we have read in the rhyme. And based on that, we need to mark whether these statements are uh, true or false. Okay. So the first one is the aircraft did not take off in the air. Right? It went into the air. Now it took off into the air. So the answer is false. Second sentence. The weather was stormy. The weather wasn't stormy. The weather was calm and cool. The pilot and the air hostess worked happily. Yes. They were quite happy. The aircraft did not cover many miles. My goodness. It covers, isn't it? Yeah. Then the answer is false. Submitted. Yes. The aircraft did not take off in the air. It's false because it did take off. The weather was stormy is wrong because it uh, was very cool. The pilot and the air hostess worked happily. It's a true statement. The aircraft did not cover many miles is again a false statement. Okay. So now I will keep the screen the same for a while so that you can uh, have a look at it. Fine. Let's check what is next. A rhyme time. Find four pairs of words from the poem that rhyme. The first one is done as an example for us. Right? Air fair. So, which one of the four find mile and flight? Sigh. Sigh, S-I-G-H-S-I, fly. 
So which one rhymes with the Sai? Fly. Shine. Fine. Isn't it? Sai. Fly. Shine. Fine. Smile. Mile. Submit. Yes. So air rhymes with the fair. Sai rhymes with the fly. Shine rhymes with the fine. Smile rhymes with the mile. Right? Yeah. Now I will keep the screen the same for another minute so that you can uh, read them again. Okay. Writing skills. <clears throat> Copy the following passage neatly in your notebook. Punctuate it using capital letters wherever needed. Remember, you should use capital letters in the beginning of the sentences and names of persons. Right? So, when should we uh, use capital letters? Capital letters are used when uh, yeah, we start a sentence or uh, when we have to write the name of a person, right? So the passage given here is, birds change the shape and flap their wings to turn and control their speed. The Wright brothers thought that they could use this method and change the shape of the wing of the glider to fly it successfully. Okay, we will check the answer of this. Birds. So the starting of the sentence B is kept a capital. Change the shape and flap their wings to turn and control their speed. It's the end of the sentence, isn't it? So there is a full stop. The Wright brothers. T is capital because it's the beginning of a sentence. W is capital because it's a name. The Wright brothers thought that they could use this method and change the shape of the wings of the glider to fly it successfully. So end of the sentence is marked with a full stop. Remember? Yeah. We start the sentence with a capital letter. We start the sentence with a capital letter. We end the sentence with a full stop. We end the sentence with a full stop. Right? So I'll keep the screen again for a while for you. We can uh, read the passage once. Fine. Homework. Complete the following passage by filling in appropriate words. So we have uh, the passage here with the one, two, three, four, five, six blanks in that. And we have uh, six options also here. Yeah, we need to use these words to fill up these blanks. Okay. 
So I read this passage once. The invention of the aeroplane changes the way dash travel. Traveling by plane takes a dash time and one can go from a one place to dash in comfort. Danny dashed to become a pilot and dash a huge plane. He often talks to dash his parents about this. Okay. The invention of aeroplane changed the way dash travel. Other travel, do travel, fly travel, people travel, isn't it? People travel. Traveling by plane takes one travel to fly time, very less time, isn't it? Very less time, and one can go from one place to other in comfort. Danny to wants. Danny wants to become a pilot and fly a huge plane. Pilots are people who fly the aeroplanes, isn't it? He often talks to his parents about this. Yes. So the invention of the aeroplanes changed the way people travel. Traveling by plane takes very less time and one can go from one place to other in comfort. Danny wants to become a pilot and fly a huge plane. He often talks to his parents about this. Right? So we have completed it and uh, I'll keep the screen the same for another minute so that you can, uh, yes, read the passage once again. Right? Now to the next one. Project work. So follow these steps to make a paper air paper aeroplane or you may use some other methods also. Okay. So now you will have some instructions here. You can follow that and make a paper aeroplane. Okay. Listen to that. For these steps to make a paper aeroplane or you may use some other method to do so. Take a sheet of paper. First fold the two longer edges together, crease and open out. This is to make the vertical center line. 1. Fold the top edge to lie along left edge. 2. Fold the left edge to lie along the horizontal edge. 3. Fold the two sides to the center. 4. Fold the top point down. 5. Fold in half behind. 6. Fold the top flap to the left. Fold the rear flap in the same way. 7. Like this open out. 8. Launch the plane into the air and watch it fly. Fine. So now you can make a paper aeroplane. Okay. Shall we go to the next one? Value corner. What have we learned from this lesson? You should believe in yourself and determine what you want to do. 
success will surely greet you. So this is something great, really great. Right? See, we need to learn from the life of uh, the Wright brothers. They faced failure a lot of times, years and years they spend researching, analyzing, implementing, testing. Why were they able to do that? Because they believed in themselves. They believed that we can do it. Okay, so that strong belief that we have in ourselves is very, very, very important for success, right? Doesn't matter whatever that is, whatever the task we have in front of us, once we believe in ourselves that we can do it, then definitely we can do it. And uh, be determined. I will do it. Okay. If we simply sit somewhere thinking we I, I can do it, nothing will happen. With the determination, we should have a hard work also. We should work hard for that. Okay. And if you have these two qualities, believing in yourself and the determination that you will achieve it, then success will never go anywhere. Success is always ours. Right? Success will always be ours. Okay? So that is a very important lesson that we need to learn from this particular chapter, the first aeroplane. Fine? So that is it from this lesson, the first aeroplane. Uh, till we meet the next class with the next lesson, the new lesson. Take care, stay home, stay safe. Right? Thank you.